Hi, Jim Lopolito here, and I'm going to teach you how to make a beef stock today. Most people wouldn't even consider making a beef stock at home because they don't know how to. So I went to the supermarket and I picked up some beef marrow bones. You don't normally get veal bones in the supermarket. They're hard to find, so I'm going to use beef marrow bones. And beef marrow is great because when it reduces and it, it, that uh, beef marrow gets congealed into the sauce, it's uh, really helpful in thickening it. So I have some herbs. I have carrots, I have celery, I have onions, I have wine, I have ketchup. So all of that is in here. This is great to use up some of the stuff that's in your refrigerator. You know, if you have some carrots laying around, some celery laying, laying around, some onions, you need those three components. You know, you need some ketchup, you need some peppercorns. I put some peppercorns in, there's shallots in here, there's some garlic in here. So this is going to go into a 400 degree oven and we're going to bake it and roast it and really nice until it's all caramelized and dark. And we're going to put that into a boiling pot of water. We're going to boil it for about 24 hours. Yes, 24 hours. We're going to put it in the water. We're going to reduce it down. And then we're going to take the bones out. And that is your stock. And that's going to be great for making some sauces at home like you never, ever made before. So we're going to throw this in the oven. We'll check back with you later. Okay, so we've started the cooking process. And now we want to check what's going on, because we have to stir this every once in a while. As you can see, it's starting to get caramelized and darker, and we're going to stir it up again. I'm actually going to add a little bit more wine to the mix. That's about how much I added the first time. This is going to go into an eight quart pot. The amount that I have here, look at that. This is the, this is the inside of these bones. This is, this, is, this is what's going to, this is the marrow. This is what's going to help thicken up the uh, stock when we reduce it, the marrow in these bones. As I said before, you know, many times we use veal bones in the industry. Uh, not many make beef stocks. They make veal stocks. I like to make beef stocks also, and it's hard to find veal stock in the, in, in the supermarket industry anyway. Uh, sometimes you can find it. They can be expensive. But again, look at this. this. This is all the marrow that's going to help. That's all going to come out into this stock uh, that we make here. So this is, this is just beautiful. So we're going to cook this a little bit more, get it a little more darker before we put that into the, uh, the, the stock pot. Okay, so we're back. So we're going to check on this now. And this just looks beautiful. And if you could be in this room right now, the nose and the aroma from making a beef stock, it's just unbelievable. It's nothing like your experience. It's not like regular cooking. The aroma in this house is just unbelievable with all of these flavors just coming up into the air. All right, so this, this is perfect. As you can see, it's dark and caramelized, and it's all juicy. And we're going to take this, and we're going to put it into an eight-quart stock pot. And we're going to fill it up with water, and then we're going to bring it to a boil, and then we're going to lower it, and we're just going to let that simmer for 24 hours. So I'll be back with you in a minute after I get all these bones out into this pot. Okay, so I've transferred the bones into the pot, and I've put some water in it. The bones filled up the pot about halfway, and I've brought the water about three quarters. I've started a low boil. I put cold water in. I've now brought it to a low boil. I also deglazed the pan that I, I cooked the bones in. Deglazing means you put some water in, stir it up. You might heat it up a little bit, get the juices from the roasting pan into here. So then I pour that into here. Now you want to keep your eye on this. If you leave the house, shut it off. Uh, but during the uh, next 24 hours, uh, you might have to add some water. Don't let it, the water go below the bones. So you might have to continually add water. Uh, while this is cooking, if you have scraps from food, from you know, if you make something to eat and you, you have some extra onions or carrots or celery or you know, just about anything, you could put that in here and that's going to add extra flavor. So anything, any of your cooking, uh, some meat scraps, anything, you could put that in here uh, during this cooking process. So let this cook for about 24 hours. 
Um, it's uh, 5.30 now, so this is going to go until tomorrow evening. And, um, and that's about it. And if you could, ah, just, I love the smell of stock. And when you make this, you're going to feel the same way. Okay, so uh, we'll catch up when uh, it's time to uh, finish this off tomorrow. So I've let this sit overnight. It's, uh, I, I reduced the heat a little bit. I added a little bit of water just before I, I went to sleep, just so it didn't reduce underneath the bones. And I've been skimming the top. What you have to do now is you have to start skimming the fat off of the uh, top of the, the stock. And it's very simple. You just go around and, and, and do that. But the richness now, it's starting to get this rich um, level of the ingredients in the water now. Uh, it really, really has a great aroma. Uh, and in just, a, in just a few hours, it's 12 o'clock right now, in just a few hours we're going to... Um, take out the bones and uh, strain this and then we'll have a stock that we can reduce further and that's what our base will be for other sauces and and things that we want to make with it so we're getting there okay so here we are we're at the end uh, I'm taking it off a couple hours early the stock is all done uh, we have a decent reduction and we're just going to pour it into a strainer into another pot you can see how wonderful this looks and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure all of the all the bones the marrow is out of all the bones I'm going to let it cool um, but just to show you for instance this particular bone still has still has marrow in it so I'm going to make sure that marrow gets into the stock so right now this is about half full not quite uh, I'm going to throw this on the stove and we're going to reduce this a little bit more now one of the things I didn't mention earlier I don't think I mentioned earlier but it's important to know from the start I guess I should have said this do not add salt to your stock in the beginning because of the reduction, if you add too much salt, you can end up having a salty stock. So now is the time when it starts to reduce to taste it and to see if you add a little bit of salt, how it turns out. So that's where we are right now. We've completed the process. Now I'm going to reduce the stock a little bit. And then that's where you can take this stock and make sauces and you can make soups out of them. Uh, and this is the base for, uh, for making the best sauces for your meals at home uh, from now on. Good luck. Con reach out if you have any questions and I'm happy to help you out. Thank you. Thank you for watching my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, from the stock that you have now, you can do just different things and make some different sauces, something as simple as a, a bordelaise or a demi-glaze. Uh, you know, make a roux, which is some butter and flour mixture, and you make a roux that's a thickening agent that's cooked, uh, and then you add that to the uh, learn how to add a roux to a sauce. Uh, there's different temperatures that you need to, to consider uh, when doing that. But go out and get some shallots, some parsley stems or parsley and break the stems off, mushroom caps, and, um, and use those to start sauteing and add the stock to that, reduce that. Add some, white, some red wine if you want to make a Bordelais or just reduce that down, strain it out uh, the way it is as a stock to make what is similar to a demi-glaze. So those two things are just two basic ways you could take the stock and, and use it to your advantage. Uh, you can make a beef soup, soup out of this. There are many, many things you could take this stock, which is much better than any, rest, any stock that you're going to find in the supermarket or in the stores. If you, if you follow my recipe, it's going to be fantastic, and you'll make some great sauces, impress your friends, impress your family. Good luck. Thank you very much for watching my presentation.